Just the last 10 minutes, 10 News got new video of the puppies which were seized from a home in Choyas Creek after their owner was arrested for growing pot and stealing electricity. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco live at the animal shelter in Linda Vista with the puppies and why they are not up for adoption, at least not yet. Rachel? Yeah, Bill, the owner has two weeks to claim those puppies. If he does not, then they'll be put up for adoption and there will be plenty of people interested. Take a look. These uh, tiny little white ones are poodles. The vets are still checking them over, but they appear to be okay. There are also a handful of Yorkies. You can see how nervous the little tiny one is. He's examined there on the table. Most of the dogs are small breed, but there were a couple of Dobermans, 13 puppies in all, plus three adult English bulldogs. Now, the owner is not facing any charges in connection with these animals, but he's facing plenty of others. The puppies didn't make a sound as they were removed from the home just before 4 a.m. They're mostly small breed, like these Yorkies, but there were a few Dobermans as well. Well, at first I thought because I had seen them several times bring in puppies in and out of the house, I thought it was a puppy mill. Police say this house on Auburn Drive was home to a puppy mill and a pot growing operation. Investigators say they found roughly 60 large marijuana plants. They found the drugs after they put out a fire in the garage around 11.30 Monday night. Police say Christopher Palmer, seen here with his three-month-old infant, was stealing electricity. The illegal wiring sparked the fire. The flames were contained to the garage, but Palmer's baby suffered smoke inhalation. Palmer was taken away in handcuffs. His wife, seen here, was able to leave with their baby, but charges against her have not been ruled out. Now, the director here tells me it is not illegal to have that many puppies in your house as long as they are well cared for. Reporting live in Linda Vista, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.